Let's talk about the grand illusion. Are gas prices really going up, or is it just an illusion to keep your attention diverted from the real problem? Now, because politics is involved, you know it's definitely an illusion. Let's look at the facts first, though. This is what people use to pay for services and products. Everything is measured in these so-called dollars, or Federal Reserve notes. They are nothing more than pieces of paper and ink. One of these barely gets you a gallon of gas now. Now, this is from the federal government's own website, the Department of Energy. In 1947, you could get a gallon of gas for 23 cents. So a quarter, just like this, would get you a gallon of gas. Now, this quarter, unlike the ones made after 1964, is almost a quarter of an ounce of silver. Now, on May 23, 2008, you'll see silver going for $18.22, or Federal Reserve notes. Now, our same 1947 quarter is still a quarter of an ounce of silver, or $4.55, 4.55 Federal Reserve notes. Ironically, the same as a gallon of gas. Who'd have thunk it, right? Still think the price of gas is going up? Ah, of course not. It's the value of this fake money called a Federal Reserve note that's going down. Don't fall for this illusion. See, real money, like gold and silver, does not lose their value. But fake money does. They always do. But don't expect to hear the truth from government and the cheerleaders in the media. Let's look at a piece of propaganda that would make this guy proud. Und um dieses Volk wollen wir ringen und wollen wir kämpfen und niemals erlahmen und niemals ermüden und niemals verzagen und niemals verzweifeln. Uh, what do you think of what's happening with oil prices right now? They're going up. You well, think they'll continue to climb? As they're going to go up because the people that have the oil want, they want it to go up. And they're, they're running out of oil. They're going to have 85 million barrels a day is all the world can produce. And the demand is 87 million. And it's that simple. It doesn't have anything to do with the value of the dollar. It's just a fact of supply and demand. That's it. We had Whoa, what was that? Nothing to do with the value of the dollar? Really? Remember the silver quarter worth $4.55 now? About the cost of a gallon of gas? Don't listen to this guy's tripe. See, the problem isn't with the oil guys like this. It's the ones who need legal tender laws to get people to use their fake money. Guys like this. Oh, and let's not forget helicopter Ben Bernanke, who thinks you fight inflation by dropping fake money out of a helicopter. Who, by the way, is also the chairman of the Federal Reserve. And who imposes those legal tender laws? That's right, the Fed's partners in crime and economic devastation, these guys. So don't fall for the illusion. The problem isn't the oil companies. The problem is the fake money.